Hey there, we're going to talk about some pocket planning and a little bit of a pocket planning journey. So here is my pre-flip. This is my, you're going to hear a little bit of noise, I'm moving my mic in front of me. So this is my Louis Vuitton pocket planner wallet. That first page was from Simply Gilded, then I cut out and punched a thank you card from when my husband and I got married. This was an original run at a monthly's. I did make the bow tab and the heart tab. The bow tab survived, the heart tab has not. Then I have some Peanuts Planner Co. journal pages, a Peanuts Planner Co. week flip page, which I really liked. I do, so for the holes on my inserts, I do cut those so that I can easily slide them on and off. That's just from a thank you card that I cut down and punched. And then uh, some small cards that I had, I just stuck one on the back. And then some notes pages from cloth and paper that I had. And the book in back is a passport size grid paper from cloth and paper. All right, so it chunked out there really quickly because I had to block out some info that I had. I have a caco green pen in chocolate. And then I think that's my opal. N89, I think. So that's my Opal Tombow. And then coming up here from Peanuts Planner Co. I forgot to insert a title, so I will have to do that when I edit this so you'll see something different. This is your ideal day planner. You'll see me show this a couple of times. I just keep it in the front pocket of my planner. Really simple to use, really nice. I don't really refer to it. I think I would if I were doing some better planning, but I haven't really formed habits or, or rituals that I want to keep with. So there you go. Then here is an unboxing. So I have some paper for my inserts. It's a slightly thicker paper from Amazon. I would not recommend this paper. It is glossy. You want to make sure you get a matte paper. These are... Um, it's fasten, it, I'm gonna call it the wrong thing. So you wanna laminate something, those are self-laminating sheets for business cards, and then an assortment of size of clear pockets. These are all right off of Amazon. You can just search for them. There are a variety of manufacturers who are gonna give you the goods on them. I'm holding this up way too long. In case you're wondering, I'm doing this as a voiceover because I think I'm cute. And I actually like doing the voiceovers on these. And then I picked up this pen case. It's expandable and I can fit things like post-its in it and flags as well. I go back and forth between it. My personal favorite pen case is from DSW and I'm, you'll see it in a later portion of this video. I much prefer that guy because he's smaller and more compact. This dude is a little bit more like you're throwing it in a book bag or a work bag and not in your purse. So just a, a word of warning, it's not really purse portable. Then I had a cloth and paper order. There's always the top part. I'm trying to hold the phone with one hand and do the video. And then I'm trying to, with one hand, open things. And it never, I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I keep doing it because it never works out beautifully. So I ordered some some flags. I really, really, really like, what is it? Is it the mocha color? Yeah, so sorbet is kind of pink. The mocha is almost a nude color that I really enjoy. And then you'll see some mauve tabs that came in there as their freebie for the month, which were also really nice. But they aren't transparent. So if you go to use them to mark things off, just be aware they're, they're not transparent. That's the May freebie. Taking way too long on showing that. Again, I, I apologize when I filmed this. I thought it was much cooler than it was. All right, and then we've got a little journaling card. I can cut these down, and what I do is I use washi tape along the edge, and I punch the washi tape to put them into my planner or I cut them down and stick them into a pocket. Just a, a really cute thank you from them with some of their new flags on there. They actually, Cloth and Paper just came out with a bunch of different color and shape uh, dot stickers and uh, new flags. I have not ordered those. I, it's really tempting. I know people who like 
put in an order right away and just picked up a bunch of stuff. But quite frankly, I have an abundance of stuff to use through it. I would rather use through things. That's it. Put your hand over the camera lens. And then we're going to get into it and I'm going to fumble with the sticker a little bit, but this one actually did not hold the paper as tightly as some of the others do. So it was a little bit easier to yank off. Exciting. I know, right? This is just riveting stuff right here is me trying to open up tissue paper. Say hi to my jammy pants. I know. Very cool. I'm a classy lady. Those jammy pants are actually from Kohl's in case you're wondering. I don't know if Kohl's still sells them. They're from quite a while ago. Do, 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 do. All right. So I got some half disc I'm using these. This is project management, but I use it for content management in my half disc. I also have from Peanuts Planner Co. that you will see later on in the video content manager sheets for in there. Right now, I am primarily using my pocket planner. So you're going to see a lot of the pocket planner when it comes to getting into my chunky planner. And some of what is in here I actually purchased for that chunky planner. Honey, just, just get that out of there. Just pull it out. Come on. Come on. Quit, quit delaying. She's taking way too long. I feel like I need to do a commentary on myself as we run this. All right. So I picked up some more dot grid sheets because I like them. I don't use them as dot grids, but I like them. All right. And I probably won't purchase them again because I have fallen in love with printing my own. So I've got the 2020 overview. I'm still on the fence about that. If it takes up room, these dailies, I kind of regret purchasing them. I don't like the layout of the dailies. I much prefer, so Peanuts Planner Co. has dailies that have sort of a notes page. And I like those much more because honestly, if I'm using dailies, I'm using them for content planning. All right, Camille Fault, that is as, as it should be. I love that. That is in my planner and will probably stay in my planner. Then I have the year at a glance. Again, I don't know if I really need this or not. I do refer to it sometimes, but realistically, I have my phone or other places to look at. Can you get things back in frames? The goal sheets, which I still have not filled in and might pull out of my planner. I don't know. We'll see. All right, the habits. I like this. Once those are gone, I have a fillable routine tracker and a habit tracker that I'm going to use. Contacts, I have those are their old contacts. I have their new contacts. Then I have some side tabs. I have their, I have Cloth & Paper's old contacts, their new contacts, and then when those are out, which will probably be never, I will have printables that I will use. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of unboxing, and you're going to spend a lot of time staring at my ugly nails. I was testing out a nail polish, and I haven't done that video yet. So there's an Ollie clip. I am wearing my favorite sweatshirt. It says Wolfram and Heart. If you are a fan of the show Angel from Forever Go as I date myself, that is what it is from. All right, so my Mermaid Ollie clip, which you will see, and this is actually functional. I keep it on the front of my planner right now, but when I need it, I found that I really enjoyed it. I thought I was going to regret it after I purchased it, but uh, I, I like it. I ordered one in large that's on pre-order that I should have in July and another one in Snow Leopard because I thought the Snow Leopard in large would go well with my platter. So there you go. It's just a magnet. It's a laminated magnet that looks pretty. I really like the teal and blue, so there you go. Ba 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 awful nails. So I've seen them used as a pen loop, but they really don't work. The large size would probably work better. It's hard in a lot of planner videos to actually tell what size Ollie clip they're using because when you're close up, a small Ollie clip can look like a large Ollie clip and vice versa. I was figuring out where to put it on the planner and I do like it. I do like the color on the front. So I was like, well, let's try it. And it just, it did not work. It did not work as a pen loop at all. So I was quite frustrated and I did the video silently so that I could, I could do the voiceover and it just, yeah. Yeah. So that's the alley clip, but I ended up, I ended up liking it much more than I thought I would. Oh, and this is, this is probably one of the favorite packages that I have received. This is from Simply Gilded. Oh, look at that double chin, honey. Pick your face up. Can you, can you seriously just pick your face up? 
All right, so we have the washi tape. The two leopard style washi tapes that I ordered are actually from an oops. And then those are some, I believe those are freebies that I got. I don't think I purchased that sheet of stickers, but that sheet of stickers is dang cute, isn't it? And so the oops was the, 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 the adhesive on the back was a little bit stronger than their normal adhesive. You have to be careful taking it off, which I haven't had an issue with at all. And I like that the adhesive is stronger because personally, I want my washi tape to adhere. All right, so I should do a little card. It's got a little bow that I haven't put on anything. What else? It came to this little card that says, keep looking up that I used washi tape on the side of and punched so that I can put it in my disc bound planner. And then just showing the washi tape. I thought I would really love this floral washi tape. Not so much, not so much, unfortunately. I'm gonna keep using it because it's pretty easy to use up, but I just, again, I thought I'd fall in love with it and I didn't. I really love this leopard. So the white background leopard print is is stunning. I wanna order more of it. I want it, I want it all over everything. Can I make myself a mummy costume using it? I it's, it's just gorgeous. It's like, I can claps too simply gilded for that. And then I don't like the black one as much, but with a black planner cover, perhaps I will start to find some more use for it. I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't, uh, doesn't gel with me so much. So there's that. And I'm realizing that I'm doing a voiceover for a video that's nearly an hour long. And I don't even have all of the clips in there yet because my next clip won't copy over so I can show you my final, my final planner, which is not my final planner because I just added some new inserts. So here what you have me rocking through rather uncoordinatedly is my new planner and it's gonna be my new planner and my cloth and paper uh, sub box unboxing in this. So I did order this new planner. This is from Gigi's Planner Co. on Etsy. Again, let's, let's look at everything but what I'm actually trying to film. I have figured out how to do top-down filming with my camera arm, so I have a separate camera arm that I, I use, and I have figured out that I can actually attach it to the table like I can attach it to some other things, so we will start doing that in the future, and you won't get any more of this crappy... Oh, dear Lord. Seriously? All right. We'll just give her a second to sort herself out and try to open something up. I have clearly set the phone down to get this thing out of its packaging. hope. I hope this didn't just freeze up on me. Nope, there we go. So there is my pocket chunky 30 millimeter rings Croco planner with the top pocket or back pocket depending on how you talk about it. And she is nice and floppy, which is a little unusual for me. None of my other planner covers are floppy at all. And I, I really like her. I, I like her the more I use her. I am a little bit annoyed that her flap is so long. It's almost too long. It's really made so that you can load this thing up and she can be a super chunk and you can still get it closed. I am interested in a Black Palace Studios pocket planner at some point, And that actually has the rubber band closure as opposed to the snap. The snap is just really hard. I almost feel like to have a snap, it has to be fully adjustable because I could, I could take off a third of the length of this and comfortably close my planner right now. Because as much as I like a chunky and needed bigger rings, I don't have a lot of deco or other things that bulk it up. So there you go. So I'm going to show you the top pocket now. Do, 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 do. She's a nice patterned little inside to protect. She is faux, so I don't know if it's vegan, but it's definitely faux, so it's not leather. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I was worried that she would be stretchy at first, but she's really not. And then that's just a size comparison for the cloth and paper saddle squares or dots or whatever you have. They don't easily fit into any of the pockets without cutting it down, including the back pocket because of how she how she closes, um, the back pocket doesn't go along the entire entire perimeter. She's kind of stitched inward a little bit to keep her secure. So here is 
Oh, so ask, ask for what you want. Be prepared to get it. That is now in the notes section of my planner, which you will see later on. Again, a little here's what's in your box. I'm going to pop this bad boy open and show you. I almost feel like I don't need to talk through this. I almost feel like I want to cut this out of here completely, but I probably won't because I am lazy. So here we go. Again, I should use two hands. So there's the espresso flags. There are some new, new sticky notes. And then you can see there are new dashboards. There are some journal cards, some other fun things in there. I know I kind of want I kind of want to get rid of this like why why are we going through all of this I think the reason I'm kind of frustrated with this part is because I've already seen other unboxings and there is a good number of this stuff that I'm not even using in my planner at this point in time I was a little disappointed with these time zones because Chicago is not on there and the central time zone is not really represented which frustrated me just a little bit um, the J'adore card, I think I had in my planner, but I think I might have pulled it out. I have it on the back of another dashboard in a pocket. Stare at my fingers, stare at my fingers. Why, why, would, I, why would I use the arm to film top down? I don't know. I don't know. So, okay, so this card is meant to look like it's running over, which is really a cool effect. So there you go. I'm not gonna read it to you. Clearly those, by this point I have taken off that nail polish that didn't last very long on my nails. So bada bing, bada boom, there's another one. I have not used the circle sticky notes yet. Then I'd open those up. So these are some just inserts. I don't know, I don't understand those. I like the door, but I, I just, I don't understand how I'm supposed to use these. The June, it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't really show up when I would put it in my planner, so it really wasn't usable for me. I don't, I don't use separate little monthlies. I know some people like to, you know, stick them on their planner so that they can see them quickly. I just, I don't, I don't reference them because I use actual inserts for that kind of stuff. All right, the dirty chai circles. Again, I don't, I don't mind those at all. You're not going to see the Penspirations box in here because mine is not shipped yet. I thought it was supposed to be coming out Friday, but maybe it's the beginning of next week. And I'm also waiting on my new cloth and paper cover that I ordered months ago. And it's finally ready, so I'm super excited for that. So we got the fawn dots. I'm sure there's a reason why they're called the fawn dots, but honestly, the nude color colored is really more of what a fawn color would be. So I thought that was pretty interesting, unless maybe for the fawn dots, they're thinking about the white dots that are actually on, on a fawn. They are also not transparent. The mauve ones from last month's box are also not transparent. But I like them because they're not, they're not a glossy finish. So I think they'll be much easier to write on top of, which I appreciate. All right, the Atelier, I thought I would use that more I tried, not a huge fan of it. I think the reason I'm not a huge fan of it is because I'm not a huge fan of the font. So it just, it's it's almost too stark for me. I like a little bit more flowy. Serif, serif, not sans serif, serif, serif. <laughs> that's just, that's just a visual thing that my eye likes. So the, is that the wish list tracker? So I'm, I have one of the wish list trackers in my planner right now. And then we've got some daily samples. I did pull out the daily samples that I had in my planner because I wanted to, to just try to use up the regular dailies. I might throw them back in there though. And then new contacts. Some people really like the black edge that they're doing on some of these. I personally do not. I would much prefer it if it was just pulled off of there completely. I think it would look much cleaner. And then there's just a comparison. So there's the new planner versus the planner I had. There's what it looks like with what I had in my Louis planner. And then we're gonna roll through, roll through, roll through. And here is a disc bound notebook that I put together with is this Elamon lined paper. And that she's gonna go slow. All right. All right, so I'm gonna talk about my bigger planners, my notebook, and then 
the updated setup for my pocket. Why does this feel like it's not moving? All right, there we go. So those are Levenger discs. They're the Circa discs in the tortoise shell. They are the one inch. And then I have the covers are from cloth and paper. And then I just have some, so you can see I'm using the arm for this one so much better. That is just some scrapbook paper from Michael's. And then I have the Shine Sticker Studio pocket in there, just so I have a pocket. And then the Elemon lined paper in the back I have from Elemon the, what I'm gonna call a storyboard. It's their eight squares, which I really like. And I think I'm gonna move the storyboard to the front or disperse them throughout. I haven't decided yet. But I printed and cut these down myself. It's just more, depending on what you use a lot of, it's more affordable to just print and cut yourself. I have everything I need to cut and punch because I'm super anal and I like to be able to turn things that I love into things that can go into my planners and notebooks. So like I said, I'm set up for that so it doesn't bother me. That is the cloth and paper nude pebbled texture cover. This is without rings, so these are for my Levenger discs. And that is a half page. So nothing's really changed in there. I did pull the, the private notebook out you're going to see a lot of cloth and paper. The gold discs are from cloth and paper. Everything in there is from cloth and paper. I did screw up the cover for this by accidentally putting a pocket in the wrong place so you don't really see, see you can make anything by writing anymore. They do move a little bit. I don't have them fully loaded because it gets too chunky in the planner and the planner doesn't want to snap and stay shut anymore. So that is a thing. It's a big thing. The co the, co the coconut, the pineapple on the bottom is from a sticker sheet from Target. Target routinely rotates those out, so if you want one, you can you can go ahead and grab one. Showing you how nice and thick she is. I always feel like when I see videos of other people doing this, they don't hold it up long enough. Like they'll they'll briefly hold it up for you to see, so you don't really get an understanding of how thick something might be. Then I was trying to go slowly just to show you a little bit of the tabs. They do kind of get in the way of the pen loop, which is unfortunate. The cloth and paper ring-free planner covers are designed to work with the inch and a half discs, which is what those discs are. They don't work with anything larger. I find that the inch and a half is actually perfect. So that's just something that I printed myself. I think I've talked about it in other videos. I used to have a program that did wallpapers for my laptop and it actually saved wallpapers to my computer. The program no longer works. It's no longer supported. It's a washi flake from Joanne right below it. And then the inbox and the morning routine is from cloth and paper. The, oh, underneath is, that's from, what is it, Glam Girl over on Etsy. I've talked about it again in other videos. I really like it, just this hustle. I like the aesthetic of it, it matches the planner. I've got a postcard that I've just had for ages and ages and ages and ages. And then next to it is, I put that in one of those little pockets from Amazon. And then I've got my filming schedule, which I keep in there and also have in my pocket size, which you will see. I was able to integrate fully in my pocket size so I don't have multiple planning schedule. I don't have a list for things to plan though, so that might be something I want to incorporate. And then I have, this is from, is this Infinite Lotus? I think this is Infinite Lotus. This is a 2020 lined calendar, which absolutely works perfectly. Traditionally in my larger planners, whether it's my A5 or my disc bound, I do like to use mostly just the monthly calendar for planning as opposed to dailies and weeklies. There's just some notes for things that I'm working on, which includes this, the Power of Words series you're going to see. I don't know. I have to get back to that. There's been so much going on, it's hard to really talk about that right now. I use, I tried that weekly. I have it in pocket size as well. So it's, it's a week and then it's a daily on one. I like it and hate it all at the same time. I was trying to use it just for work because I was logging some things. It's really too big in there. I, I don't enjoy that at all. And then these are from Note Period D, which I believe might be an Australian company. Uh, 
I cut them wrong. Clearly, clearly I cut them wrong. This is around the time I got my new cutter, which is great because you can see I cut them wrong. So it's a week on two pages. I kind of like that in there, but it's almost too busy. And then those are the dailies. I was just toying with them, but I really, really don't like the dailies in the bigger planners. Just personal preference. And I like those because those particular dailies, you can use the one side as, as a place to write notes or ideas. I've got my listing. I've got some more more lists. I have lists on lists on lists. Again, that's it's a washi flake from Joanne. Another pocket with, with a wallpaper. All right, and then more of my planner stuff. Those are sizing that I use on Canva and fonts. I'm just kind of losing my mind. I am pretty sure I filmed a video where I talked fully about this and my resistance to planning. I will have to go back and check. I think I talked about it in my planner play video. But this is just showing you how I use the Cornell style notes page from cloth and paper. There's the project management page from cloth and paper. I really like the project management in the disc bound. I think in the disc bound, it needs to be much larger. The content planner that you'll see in my pocket, I think is gonna be a little too small. I think that's gonna be more for just like the quick list that I need to do or reminders on particular projects as opposed to actually using it for project management like you see in the half disc. I just really want to get through this and I can't really speed it up while I'm talking because it's going to do goofy things to the video and I don't want dead air. I can't remember what I was talking about there. I took, I took the sound away from this one so I could do the voiceover fully. But clearly I was talking to you and I can tell I was talking to you because I'm moving my hands. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm getting deep into this one. I must have actually talked about it in this video. Okay, all right, maybe I didn't talk about it in the video before. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing in terms of planning, how I'm using it. And it just kind of goes hand in hand with the Cornells. The Cornells I, that I purchased are punched for A5. I cut them down and repunched them for the disc bound so I could use them. I'm not using my A5 right now. And then I'm just telling you about the, the inserts and the stuff that I use. Realistically, that list is supposed to help me when I go to type things in because I want to do better with giving you guys references and where to find things other than just saying it. I feel like I have so many places that I'm getting things from at this point or using that it, it can be really tough because, well, it's just nature of the beast because you're stuck with all of this stuff and all of these different options and you can really end up down a nasty rabbit hole very quickly with that kind of stuff. And then just some more, some more ideas, some things I was doing that I was keeping listed. I gotta clean this out. I gotta get rid of some of the stuff. Or actually finish working on some of the things really cute planner page. Why do I keep going back and forth? What important nugget of information am I trying to give you in this particular video that I can't remember? Must not have been that important if I can't remember it. I'm realizing that I should have uploaded parts individually instead of trying to throw this into one ginormous video. That was a little silly of me now, wasn't it? All right, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. My daughter's napping. She actually fell asleep really quickly tonight. Tonight, today, again, more ideas. And then there are the eight boxes that I picked up from Alamon. So I'm waiting for her to get up. I do have my monitor on so I can hear her if she cries. My husband is upstairs playing video games. My intention was to get this stuff done very quickly for you guys today so I could get it up and finally get it out, but that's not happening, so I don't think I'm gonna get to play video games this afternoon, which I like to do for downtime, so it's sad. I'll live, but it's sad. My, my laptop, my MacBook is having a really hard time keeping up with everything that I need it to do, and I'm asking it to do too much processing right now, so it's really flipping out on me. I've all but abandoned this stuff, so this is the 
Danielle Laporte desire map planning. I have moved so far away from it that I don't know if it's ever going to reincorporate itself back into my planning this year. It might if I go back to the disc bound. I do look at the ring bound planner that I, I picked up. I might go back to that. I was kind of using it for journaling, but I just, I feel like I'm split between like 20 different things and I just am not that kind of planner person. I, I'm really not. I like to have everything in one place. It bugs me to need something and not have it when I need it. And I like it right at my fingertips. So first world problems, it's a thing. I, I keep trying different things and I just think pocket planner is really where it's going to be at for me. Now I say that now, but when I realize that when I return to work and I'm in the office part of the week and then at home part of the week, I might want the bigger planner again, but right now not so much. So this is kind of my first foray into this one. And hopefully I can pull off the last 10 minutes of this and give you guys an hour long video. I, who wants that? Look, look at that chunkiness. Look at that chunkiness. This is me playing with the setup originally and trying to figure out what was gonna work for me. You can see I've got the Ollie clip on the inside of it because it is holding some sensitive material back. And I did have to chop this one a little bit to get rid of some stuff that I did not want shown because I can be a moron and forget to put post-its over things. I don't know why I have a business card that is highly visible in the damn back with personal information instead of being turned out so that it doesn't show personal information. I used to give those out a lot and I used to not be so bothered because I was using, it was before I had everything that I have in place now for people to contact me. Like my email is a life by ngm at gmail.com. I used to, when I was more into the wellness advocate side of essential oil usage and getting others to use it, I was giving them my personal email until I got a separate email. And it was never really a problem because I was talking to people I knew, but kind of putting out on an open forum, you know, my private email account probably is not the best idea. So yeah, don't do that. Don't be like me. Learn from me. Learn from me. All right, so here she is. And I like, I like that it's big enough because of the closure to actually just be able to shove this stuff right in the back. That is from Shine Sticker Studio, and I got that. Ooh, hey, there's me. <laughs> and I, got that, I picked that up at Michael's. I have ordered stuff directly from her, which you'll see in just a minute as well. All right, so here she is. I did cut down another... You can make anything by writing. I'm just showing you the pocket. I have some post-its back there now, which actually fit very nicely, and I like that I can shove them in there. All right, so just showing you guys this. I can't remember if it was the same in the last video or if this is the one that I fixed, but it's in there. I just, again, I have it for reference. We had to replace our sump pump, so I have some sump pump information. And then Gigi's Planner Co. She sent me these little, these cute little stickers. Not sure what I'm going to use them for yet. I've kind of gone minimal. I don't use my stickers a whole lot. The today, I don't know if I want to call it a divider because to me it's a divider. That is from cloth and paper. You could put that as your today. I like it honestly as my front dash, just because I think it protects whatever I have in the front. So I think it's fabulous there. I did use it to some of that that uh, iridescent paper from Michaels for scrapbooking. I did use it as a template to make that tab in the back too, which I think is already in there in this particular video. I have changed stuff around in here so much and taken stuff out and tried new inserts. Again, I, it's a process. It's a process. Once you find your ride or die though, it's... It's like a choir of angels singing and just letting you know how fabulous something is. And clearly I was talking for this one too and forgot that I was doing this as a voiceover. The last one that I have for you, I did not. I did that as a flip that I could do a voiceover on. So yay me, woo-hoo. And we're closing in. We've got a little more than 10 minutes here. So see, there's the Jador. And then I've got... Again, there's my switch that's from Simply Gilded. My daughter added the vintage Lisa Frank stickers that I gave her. I kept my favorite ones for myself, but gave her the other ones. There's my year, well, 
first divider, and I am changing out the dividers, which you won't see because I will not have those until middle of July either. But from Planner Press, I got the bow dividers where you add the bow stickers yourself, so I picked those up. I'm super excited to change those out. And I might pull out the dashboards that I made and just go with the dividers because I feel like a lot of times I don't see the dashboards. I have also changed up that Peanuts Planner Co. insert. So that was a first attempt at my filming schedule. But Peanuts Planner Co. had one that worked much better that just had three or five columns. So I picked the three because I could do filmed, edited, uploaded and not have extra space. Those work because it gave, I used columns for time, which I like. I like seeing how long my, my videos are, but quite frankly, they vary. Future dates, dashboard, get the monthlies. You can see that this is before I've done a bunch of different things to try to make the, the dashboards into dividers themselves. They're a little bit thicker, they're pictures put together. So again, these pictures are basically from a wallpaper program that I had. And I just threw those in there. I don't really use those mainly because I don't see them. They're kind of they're kind of clipped behind. And again, I'm not a huge fan. They're a little bit thick and they're not transparent. I wish they were a little thinner. That is my first attempt at monthly where I did the dates. I wrote things in. I have since changed up. I did get from Peanuts Planner Co. They're dated. And if you print it as high quality instead of normal quality, it's not all black and white. Some of it comes out as a blue shade, which is really neat and gives some good contrast. All right, so there's another dashboard slash divider that I made, and those are, this is the weeklies. So those are from Infinite Lotus. I really like that particular weekly. I'd almost like it as a one page so I could put notes on the back if I needed to. I'm not really using it a whole lot now. Uh, that is from Noted. I really don't like that layout. I really, I just, I thought I would love it and I, I don't like it. I like my week on one page. And there's another one. And just some paper that I have from Joanne Fabrics for scrapbooking. And then on the next side I have my routine. I'm just pointing out that there is, while there isn't gapping in the ring mechanism, there is some weird where it's not lining up exactly. It's a thing. I'll live. Flip the page, dinky. I, I was trying to fully examine them because it was the first time I noticed that one side was a little more raised than the other. It doesn't really catch the paper or affect anything. It was just something I was mentioning. The less you open your rings, the better. Just saying. So I have, is that Gabby Bernstein practice or will you stop? Okay. <laughs> you watch me get frustrated. I was testing it to make sure it wasn't going to get hung up. It just looks so silly, doesn't it? All right, so those are daily practices. These are cloth and paper dailies that I was playing with. Again, not my favorites. Really, really not my favorites. I think it's because I don't need the schedule the way the schedule is. I think that's what bugs me the most. I want more writing space. <laughs> and then we're going to come to what is more my favorite. So from Peanuts Planner Co. is what we're hitting on next. And that is where you can customize your own schedule. And I, again, I was testing the pages to see because it seemed like it was getting hung up at the top, but it wasn't getting hung up where the closure was. It was just getting hung up because of the paper. I did have to repunch. I don't think I had to repunch these, but I had to repunch a lot of my cloth and paper pocket sizes because the holes were wrong. The top hole, for some reason, was off, and I ended up having to repunch and make the holes bigger. So here's Peanuts Planner Co. So you can see I can make the notes for the videos that I'm going to do or any of the planning that I'm going to do. I like these dailies so much better, and if, if I get real about it, 
I should really probably just be using note pages instead of trying to use dailies. I, I, I really flounder with those. I'm more of a monthly, weekly girl than I am a daily planning girl. And I'm just talking about it. That's a magnetic clip that I have in there. It's magnet, the magnetic bookmark. And then I'm talking about some more. I actually have some different Peanuts Planner Co. dailies that I saw someone else using. And I really liked how she had her set up. But I'm thinking if I do those single-sided, then I can just use the back as notes if I can't figure out how to do a notes overlay to actually get note, note lines on the back. And that's from Noted. That's just the pocket version of their daily where you could use it as a schedule or if you wanted to use it for, for planning, you could do that. And then these are the cloth and paper samplers for dailies. I was really torn on which ones I liked the most of these. I think that I'm not in love with either. And so it's a thing. Again, I cut them so I can easily pull them in and out. And I'm just showing you that I had to repunch those. And you can see my larger punch, my holes that I punched are larger and they are clearly off. So that was frustrating. Now you're probably wondering, well, did you contact Cloth and Paper and let them know? No, I haven't because I don't think it's their fault. I think the 30 millimeter rings are just slightly different because honestly those holes wouldn't have made a difference in my LV which has much smaller daintier rings and then this is where I kept my work stuff and I have the alley clip because I have private stuff on uh, that that stuff has all since come out I don't like having any any real details on work I just like keeping the time stuff and keeping everything else work related digital in my work laptop it just makes sense so there's that do, do, do. I like the black cat. Printing it did not turn out nicely. It's something that needed a color printer. I have a My MFD does color, but it needed an actual true color printer for that one. Something that could act, handle the level of detail that it needed. And my MFD is just not that. It's not that beast. I suppose I could try to print it high quality and see if that changes it, but just on normal quality, it really didn't, uh, didn't come out as nice. Yeah, da, 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 and she's still speaking. Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. My daughter really loves the Madagascar movies, and she we were watching Madagascar 3, which if you have never had the joy of seeing the end of that, an Afro circus, you, you have to. It is it is just it is sweet and adorable and funny and hilarious all at the same time. Alright, so I'm showing you. More of these guys, so there's my habit tracker, there's the wish list once it's in there. I make noises. I just wanna get this done. We've only got we've only got like seven minutes left here. I forgot to bring anything down to drink, so you're not uh you're not getting the full force of my voice because my, my throat's getting a little dry here. I did pull these out, they're more like diary sheets. I like them. I have a weird love hate, so they're from Peanuts Planner Co. I like them and I don't all at the same time and I think it's just because if I were using them as actual journaling pages instead of trying to integrate them into a schedule type section they would work a whole lot better just again personal preference all right and she's just tell she's just telling you what's on them you want to do a little gratitude you want to do some affirmations throw them in there just throw them in there do your notes do your notes it's not really good for content planning the way it's laid out, at least not for me. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Turn those pages, quit, quit yakking, keep turning. All right, so as it should be is where I put my goals. The goals have since moved to the front of my planner, mainly because at some point I need to come up with what my goals are. I hate feeling hemmed in by goals. I had to punch this particular vellum myself Again, because the holes didn't line up, so it's a thing. Again, I'm not as bothered by it as you would think. That's the original contact sheet. I think only my husband is on there right now. And then, yay, and then the note, the note section. 
I had nothing in between those two. I've since filled that in. So there, yep, there's the notes section and I used the Today tab as a template to make the notes tab. So that is Crackle Grain Iridescent. If someone calls it hollow, I'm gonna get all hollow on you because that is not hollow. Let's just be clear. And then I really, really like that particular journaling card in the notes section. And then I have the passport size notebook in the back. I took it out of there. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it or where I want to keep it. I want to use it just... Sorry about that sitting too long. But it just doesn't really, really work in the back. I would have to pull it out to actually use it. So it kind of annoys me. And I'm talking again too much. Where's that notes page from? Is that... Is that Infinite Lotus? That might be Infinite Lotus. I have notes pages from Elamon, and then I have notes pages from Peanuts Planner Co. And then here's where I had to chunk some things out because I was uh, not really being as careful as I should have been. So let's see if I did it right. Hey, hey, there we go, yes. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. So that is that is one of the versions of my planner. I think we're going to do weekly planner plays because I think this is something I'm just going to have to keep talking about. Mainly because I keep changing things up. So if you have any ideas or pointers, drop them in the comments. I mean, you got if you got if you can drop pics in the comments and you have like layouts that you really like, lay them on me, let me know. So there she is all closed. You can see how big the closure is. I mean, like that closure anticipates that you are gonna deco the crap out of your planner. And I am just, I am not that girl. I am not that deco girl. And I don't know what the heck I'm doing because I'm looking at this and it literally looks like I sat doing the outro and you're just gonna stare at the cover of my planner for like a billion years. So I got that going for me. So I'm touching it, I'm feeling it. It, it has, the way it's, I think I was talking about how it smells which is really dissipated. It reminds me of vinyl slash plastic slash a little bit of a leather type scent. So it's it's not too awful. And I had her way packed. She is not that packed right now. She is much, much sleeker. I pulled out some notes pages to achieve that. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully I'm still recording because the screen on my phone is blank and I have it tilted, so. Yeah, so that is what she looks like. I like it. I fall more and more in love with it as I use as I use it. At first, I thought the floppiness was gonna bug me, but it doesn't. She lays nicely flat. And again, I just I have a new flip through that you're gonna see that hopefully is really really quick, where you can see how I have laid some things out that work out much better for me. And you're gonna see here. Real quick, a picture of some paper clips that I am using, as well as markers to really easily flip to things. It just works out nicely. I need a wrap it up button. Maybe I can insert a wrap it up button on the screen to be like, wrap it up, lady, you are talking too much. Seriously, I have like a minute left. Can we please swap to pictures of things that I am going to show you eventually if I can get my other video to actually load in here? All right, so we are gonna go. It looks it looks so close, it's so close, come on. Jump the, jump, make the leap, make the leap. There we go, so here we go. These are from Mari Marty Designs on Etsy. Um, that is Shine Sticker Studio. That is also Shine Sticker Studio, which you will see in my planner. And that is from Fun Paper Crafts. Sadat sent me a really cute note. I actually got that pen loop in there. And then that last thing you see, she is super, super duper delicate. And I almost don't wanna put her in my planner because the dangles really make me nervous that I'm going to damage them and or otherwise hurt them. So stay tuned. Hopefully I will be able to get the end of the video on this. If not, you will see it separately. And then I think we will do weekly planning sessions because I literally change my planner so much. I could probably do 10 videos a week on that alone. So 
I am going to get this up for you and I will see you guys either in the ending or in the next one. So in my defense, it turns out that the dang thing had already transferred over and I just didn't get a chance to see it. So we're going to start here. I'm just showing you my Tombows. I have a coral color that is a gray color and then I have my mild liner, which is a minty color. I will probably only buy mild liners in the future. They're very comparable to the Tombows and clearly they're not as long. So I'm just showing you my stack of stuff. That is my platinum fountain pen. I got that from cloth and paper. It is in coral. It is an absolutely fan, 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 dandy tastic fountain pen. Then I've got my Stabilos in teal and gray. I just picked up the gray recently. I really like that. I really like both of those. I would not recommend using those on thin paper, such as moleskin paper or regular notebook paper. They do kind of bleed through. And then these are both from cloth and paper. The purple one is from a sub box and the other I picked up on my own. I love both of those as well. And this is also my favorite pen case that you're seeing. All right, you've seen these before in other videos, so I'm not really going to talk too much about them. I'm trying to be all fancy and show you from the top down what they look like. I'm spending too long on it. All right, that is my ruler that I keep with me. I really like that. I think I got it at like Target for like a buck or something. My Pentel, that is my pencil. My mechanical pencil, if you want to be technical. I've had it forever and a day. This is my Swarovski pen. I own enough ink refills for this thing to last me until I'm 110. My husband got this for me. It's one of the sweetest gifts he has ever gotten for me. I love pens. He knows I love pens. And it was just just a really, it's one of those, you know, every now and then, you know, for each other, we get something that's a really conscious gift where it's like, you know, you know, the person you're getting it for is just going to love it. And then this is also from Cloth and Paper. They took these pens down. I wanted the matte black one. So I'm hoping it will come back. It is a heavy pen. I do not like the gel ink refill that's in it. And I'm trying to find a replacement with blue ink instead of black ink as well. I just post-its. I'm trying to use up my post-it collection, which I'm actually doing really, really well on. And cloth and paper is getting me stickies regularly. So <laughs> I'm bulking back up there. I'm just, again, showing you the notebook. I pulled, I pulled it out. And I also have fawn dots, which I have pulled out to use next because I like the color and I want to try those out. And then some notes on planner inserts that I have that I want, that I, you know, I want to try. You're going to see, you're going to see this in the planner video. And then I already have inserts that I ha have that I have added in to test. That is private. This is the emotional well-being journal from cloth and paper that I really like. I wish it were passport size. I wish it were a little bit smaller. I understand why it's not so you can have all the notes areas, but I just wish it were smaller so I could stick it easily in my planner. And then just my, my little bag, which I will show you how I use it. This little pouch fits nicely into my disc bound planner cover. So that's Filofax. I got that for my A5. I have had it forever in a day. The stickies aren't really the greatest, but the flags are fine. And then that's from Danielle Laporte, which I found after a long time of looking for it in the pouch where I keep stickies and other things. In my defense, I've been working at home full time and I kind of have lost my mind and have a hard time finding things. And I think my daughter is starting to wake up. I can hear her breathing change on the monitor. But we're getting into it. We're getting into it. So see, there's my Ollie clip on the front. There's the pen loop binder clip that I purchased. I did pull the legs off of it, which I always do just so they're not in the way. Works fabulous with that skinny pen. I would not, because of the design that's on it for the XOXO, I would not put much more in there. So I have some planner cards from cloth and paper that I cut down to actually fit in the 
in the little front pocket. I also cut down the, I'm going to call them the wrong thing. I keep calling them the line stickies. I cut those down because they actually fit perfectly if I cut them in half in the monthly squares for the things that I need for an entire day. So the really important stuff fits nicely. All right, I'm going to show you the back pocket. So there really isn't anything in there right now. I'm not using it for anything, but I'm just going to pop in the post-its that I'm going to forget I shoved back there and then wonder where they are. So that works great. Okay, so, yep, there's the pen loop, XOXO. That is a cross slimline pen. So this is stuff you've all seen before. Here is my Shine Sticker Studio. I have laminated it in one of those card. Yeah, see, it's from the same company. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Keep, keep going. So <laughs> I laminated it, and I used washi tape to punch. It was a little bit bigger than the than a business card size, so it sticks out a little bit, and I just put some washi on the back to hold it closed. I suppose I could always just put something in there if I wanted to. Glitter or something, and then close it up. You've all seen this before. So there's the Shine Sticker Co. that I was trying to use to make these dividers. They worked really, really well, but I didn't want them bent up or messed up. This, this really is something that should be laminated and then cut. So you can see that I am using as a quick turn the paper clips with the stones on the end from Mari Marty Designs on Etsy. And then this is a high quality print, so you can see that it's kind of blue. I put my PTO time on the back as a tracking. I am using these from Peanuts Planner Co. I saw somebody using them. They looked really, really neat. I don't like them so much. Again, the Infinite Lotus, I feel like that's where my heart is. Because I'm from home, working at home, I'm not really using all of the extra stuff, though. So I'm just kind of flipping in and out. It's like a day off. So I've got more. I have, I don't have more stuff in there right now. And then I'm just showing you that I'm using the paper clip to hold those together so I don't have to flip them individually. That is some content creation that I was doing. My daughter ended up home. And then back to using the dailies from cloth and paper just to just to try them out again, give them another chance. It's not going so well for them. I just don't know why. I, I think it's because the way I plan and make notes is different. And then I've shown you guys this stuff before. I get really torn on the habit tracker because I feel like it becomes a competition. My daughter decided to add some color. And then I did pick up, I think, is that from Infinite Lotus? I can't see the bottom. I think so. So it's a purchase and order tracker. I really wanted a purchase and order tracker in my pocket because the purchase and order tracker is in my disc, which I'm not really using. And then what I do is when things are spent or when things arrive, I mark them off. So there you go. That's really simple there. I have to get back to working on my blog. I have a domain. I just have to put it together. I don't know. Lifebyangm.com. You're not going to see anything because it's not live. And then there is, this is where I have the three slots. It just works out so much better. And then there is the future dates and projects. And then I have the content creation, which I haven't used yet which is awful because I have something to use it for. I just cut that out from the Shine Sticker Studio and just use double-sided tape to put it on my little divider there. And then notes pages, I did take some out. And then I, I did finally cover up that business card. You're going to see it in just a second. I couldn't remember when I did this if I had until I turned it. That is some information from Shine Sticker Studio. So those three girls on there also come in a Black Lives Matter sticky and I believe a Black Lives Matter die cut if you are interested. Super cute. I can't remember. So that I have for October. I have a black cat. I love Halloween. Absolutely fantastic. And again, I just laminated it, threw on some washi tape, and there you go. The pocket that's in the back that I kind of glossed over, I must have cut something out of this. That is also from Shine Sticker Studio, and I just, I attached it to, they had this card in the back of their packaging, I attached it to it, and then I just shoved it on there. 
and that is what I punched instead of punching the folder, and it fits perfectly. So there you go. I was trying to look at it and line it up. There's how chunky she is. Everything fits in there neatly. I, I like it because everything stays together that way in my bag. So there you go. That's about all I have to say on this one. I think we're finally done. It's going to take me ages to actually get this saved and then uploaded. So I will see you guys probably like in a year or two. But that's it. And then I think I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to show you my Sydney satchel and me putting this stuff back into the Sydney satchel, which I did out of alignment. And I knew I was doing it out of alignment as I did it and did not fix it because I'm a bonehead. I'm a bonehead. It's, I'm a bonehead. So there you go. There you go. Get it in frame. Make sure it's in frame. Everything fits. It's real nice. I enjoy it. I like it. That's why I got it. So boom, done. See you on the next one. Subscribe, like, drop a comment. Feel free to troll me for making this this long.